guys it's Ari um, welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how I style my TWA um, and give you the routine on that so let's get started um, so one of the first things that I would definitely suggest that you have is um, water lots of water in your hair whether it be from you taking a shower or from you using what i like to use which is a spritzer bottle and i like to drench my hair in water um every time that i do my hair because i feel like my hair likes to like take in more product when it's more wet so yeah so um sometimes if i'm not going to spritz my hair i take a shower and vice versa so either way is fine either way whatever works um and then after i make sure that my hair is like really wet i use this um it is called design essentials natural hair it's almond and avocado curl enhancing mousse i got this from my initially i got it from the stylist who did my hair um she recommended it so did my sister-in-law and my sister-in-law also told me that you can get it for cheaper at sally's so i got it at sally's um and it's so good like it works wonders on my hair and i'm pretty sure you can use like another mousse um as well for your hair but i really love this one so um something i really suggest and then also um this extreme it's extreme professional styling gel so this stuff really work like i love this stuff at first i was using um eco styler gel but then my sister-in-law bought me this as well as like some shampoo and conditioner for my hair um and ever since then i've been using this um besides the time that i ran out of this i think and i just i love it it's just awesome so there's that and then that's all the products you're gonna need for your hair that's all the products i use for my hair um so back to what i was saying because my power just went out so um this is a bra strap um but anyways um that was it for the products that you're gonna need um you're also going to need like some tools obviously so to part my hair i like to use um my camera just loves to move right now so anyways so for the tools that i use i like to use this comb um and then i use bobby pins i just used two i actually didn't use them this oh i did never mind um <laughs> so i just used two bobby pins just to kind of hold this part in place um but nothing like too extensive because i don't like that part to be like too huge and then for like just to kind of lay my edges down i use a toothbrush and i also use this really big brush that has a lot of product in it it's not dirty i'm not i'm not dirty um it's just like sometimes you got product build like build up in your brush that you clean out every once in a while and you don't get like the opportunity to do it ever like all the time so yeah um so that's it for the products um and the tools that you're gonna need to achieve this style um but this is like just to kind of give you a close up, this is how like it turns out after it's dried a little bit because I kind of did let it dry a little. Um, so yeah. So now to get into the process of how I actually achieve this style, um, I'm sure you might notice me talking in the actual video outside of the voiceover. Um, but I, I decided to do the voiceover later, so <laughs> hopefully that's not too much of a distraction. Um, but I start off by taking the bobby pins um, out of my hair that I previously had in from doing it that morning. And then um, in the video I'm explaining how I also like to wear a towel when I'm doing this style because as you'll see I like to drench my hair in water and make sure that it's soaking wet so that way the products can really soak into my hair and give me like the best texture that I'm looking for um, and that my hair can achieve. And after I do that, I will go in, well, I'm opening my Eco Styler gel and I don't know why, or my gel and I don't know why, but um, after I spritz my hair with water, I take the Design Essentials mousse and um, I apply a very generous amount into my hair like I don't know how many pumps 
I do before I'm satisfied, but it's a lot. Um, so I would definitely suggest that you do the same because this is literally like the only product that I use for my curls with this style. So um, I like to use a lot of it. Um, plus, I love the way it works. So um, also, you'll notice I'm not sure when I do it. It's actually coming up, but I will do a upwards combing motion with my hands so I'll comb it upwards and then I'll comb it downwards my TWA is long enough to hang now so I like to do that upward and then downward motion to help it hang a little more and I like the way it starts to dry out throughout the day so um, then after I get done applying all of the mousse and using the upward downward motion on each side of my head um, I didn't need to part my hair in this part, but I did want to show you what I do um, if I did need to part it. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just regular. I just use that little part of the comb to do so. And um, now I'm taking my Equal Styler, not my Equal Styler gel, what am I talking about? The Extreme Gel, and I am applying it on my edges in the direction that I want my edges to lay. And I take the brush and um, uh, brush my edges in a swoopy motion, swooping motion. So um, that's just the way I like to lay my edges. And um, as you'll see, I like to brush the top part of the left side of my hair um, just so that my hair isn't flying everywhere. And I use the same method on the right side of my hair, which is the side that I parted my hair on. Um, so it's my right, your left. And um, I just do a little swoopy motion at the top because I don't want it to dry funny. And I feel like if I do too much of my edges on this side, it'll dry really funny um, to the shape of my head. And I don't like that. So I just do that little swoopy motion in that area that you see. And then I let the hair hang over it a little bit. I just like the way that looks. And so now I'm going to take those bobby pins, put them back into my hair, and um, just kind of set in place that, uh, that piece of hair that I laid down because it will come up throughout the day if I don't. So I'm taking uh, another bobby pin and applying it in the opposite direction of the other bobby pin that I put in my hair. And I'm just kind of moving my hair around at this point to see like where I like my hair to lay and this is how I like it to lay and you just kind of have to figure out what you like and what shape your face looks best in with your TWA so um, this is what I like and I just play around with it a little bit so um, that's actually pretty much it so let's get into the outro I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe um, if you want to see more content like this. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>